Rule number one, flying a plane. Know how to just use the seatbelt. Um, even though the sun's not up, might as well be with the damn car behind me. Like, I don't understand these LED lights. They blind me. I feel like I can't drive well because of them, especially if they're parked right behind me. Anyway, um, back to flying though. Even though the sun isn't fully up, uh, by about like 8, 8, 10-ish, it's legal day um, in the aviation terms. Hopefully I can get there. They um, they booked me, normally I'm booked at 8 for morning flights, but they booked me at 8.30 today. So, gotta have all that school traffic. Hello again. Uh, we made it uh, to Springbank where I fly out of. Um, I'm in a plane. <laughs> all, all of the Cessnas here are relatively the same. They all kind of have like different quirks to them. Um, I haven't flown this one in particular yet, so we'll see how she feels. I still don't know what I'm doing. Really, really, really busy here because this is like our main and primary training um, airport for Calgary. Um, so there's a lot of students here and just a lot of general aviation traffic. This is a little bit of a rickety plane. She's uh, seen some better days, I'm sure. And oh, I get my seatbelt on. That's crucial. Excuse me. Why are we having problems here? Rule number one, flying a plane. Know how to just use the seatbelt. What the hell is going on? Okay, secure. Jesus Lord, secure. God. Uh, let me get myself all figured out here. Clear. For about an hour today i just did circuits uh the wind kept shifting so it honestly wasn't the best flight because every landing was different normally when i do circuits i can kind of guesstimate what the wind's going to be doing but it was variable when i left at like 10 knots and it kept increasing and was con the windsock was constantly just kind of going on side to side that happens and sometimes you just don't have the groove you like you just don't feel it and that's definitely completely normal i know i need to tell myself that 
constantly because I'll get really, really, really hard on myself for not being able to get it perfect and get like two hours in a flight training every single time I fly, right? But one, flight training's expensive as hell. And if you can get up, that's all that matters. Um, and I think students need to know that and need to be reassured that it's okay. If you can't do an hour and a half to two hours in your two hour booking or three hour booking, whatever it is. And yeah, so today was just an hour of going in circles, but it was hectic circles because the wind was just, I mean, it's Alberta. <laughs> Like, you can't expect much. Also, the seatbelt in this plane, don't recommend. Hey guys, so this is Editing Faith here. Uh, many months from when this video was actually first recorded, I just found this footage quite recently. I remember recording it and starting to edit a video. Um, all of this footage was from a flight I did back in February. Uh, some of the footage from the flight itself was lost, which is why I just integrated those tiny little clips in from Instagram. Uh, I did, however, want to still post it because I am notorious for trying to record a video of me flying and then it just sits in my camera roll and I then never use it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm still learning how to record in-flight audio, uh, visuals and stuff like that, and I will definitely get better as I progress with my videos. Um, so if you want to stay tuned and see what I have next in store, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.